Hi, I'll join you again with another video. This is Dante's Inferno, and it's an Xbox 360 game played on the Xbox One. And I will warn you, there are graphic scenes from the start, uh, including se some sexual scenes throughout the video. So, you've been warned. At the midpoint on the journey of life, I found myself in a dark forest, for the clear path was lost. So here we have the gameplay, you know, very much hack and slash and stuff. Um, and I think this is the first console game that I've recorded in nearly a year. Uh, it's just that I recorded this first part of this on the PS3 quite a while ago. And at the time it didn't do really good. And I really love the game. And literally we're a week after I got on the PS3. It came out on backwards compatibility for the Xbox One, so I bought it. And I played it a bit at the time, but never recorded it and stuff like that back then. And there's always been a burning thing in me to, to redo this, to re-record it, to, to play it right through this time, because I never did before. And so, here is this video. And um, providing it doesn't totally flop, I'm going to do the whole game over time. Um, and so yeah, here it is. It's. I tried to see if I could get this on the PC because, uh, but I couldn't. You know, only in emulators and stuff. So uh, this is why I've gone back to my Xbox. Uh, just did it over and set it all up today, and um, so here we are. Hey! <laughs> 
your soul is mine! So this game is based, I think, on the book, or I think it's a book, or whatever it was, of this the story of Dante's Inferno. Um, I keep meaning, keep wanting to say Dante's Peak after the film, because it keeps coming to my head, but I know it's nothing to do with that, but there we go. And anyways, you could, well, I'm not sure if it's still on the screen, because I'm not waffled on too long. You might have just saw, um, you've got uh, options to be holy or unholy. And it's you could be both. You could favour more one more than the other. It's really up to you. That's part of the choice of the game. And um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Um, the only bit I found a bit cumbersome is there's a part later on. I won't say it now, but basically you've got to be on something like you're riding something and I found that really awkward to do but otherwise gameplay is very smooth and uh, I love the graphics the way it's put together I think it's pretty amazing what they've done and um, so yeah
told him you would come for me. Go with him, my love. I gave my word. Beatrice! So, this is a bit, reminds me a bit of medieval, the way the fighting and stuff on PS1 and PS4. Uh, it's um, yes, it's just fine. And a bit of um, Devil May Cry, a bit like that as well. Yeah, you know, there's a few games that sort of reminds me of, but the whole descending into hell business, I think I like that. And uh, so, yes, I like the story of the stuff behind it. So, hence, the uh, yeah, this is why I recorded this game. So I have got loads of, I've got a few PC games and I've got a pile of VR games I haven't even tried yet because my son's been off school. I had the idea to do this game on Sunday so I set up my Xbox and had to re-download onto the hard drive because part of the reasons why I stopped recording console games uh, is about a year ago I had a 4 terabyte Xbox hard drive pretty much full of games and it mucked up it just broke and it was quite heartbreaking you know to like re-download them again and all that and I just didn't bother just to, uh, other than a couple I pretty much not played it since then up until today um, and I just got to the point where you know I, I, I'm still gonna be playing PC games I'm still gonna be playing uh, VR games and, and what, what I can still do and arcade games and stuff like I do but it's getting to the point now that there's some games I can only play on consoles I can't play them on PC I can't you know and so I'm starting to go back to my consoles a bit to revisit them because there's loads of games I still want to play on them so that's what I'm gonna do The beast has turned me back. Help me before my pulse and veins tremble. By all that is holy, I vow to forsake all pleasures of the flesh until I return from this noble crusade. I gave myself to you because I know you will be faithful to our love. Mercenaries of Florentina, in payment for taking the cross to reclaim the Holy Land, your immaculate father hereby absolves you of all your sins.
So there are, I should have said this at the beginning, obviously religious undertones within this game. Uh, they are not. I'm not playing this game for that. Um, I'm not a person that believes in religions at all. That's just the way I am. Each to their own. I'm not going to argue with somebody who does. Um, but I'm just saying any religious comments or anything in the year after I release this, I will delete them because I'm not releasing this to favour any particular religion or, or anything like that. Oh, my f phone going off, typical, isn't it? So, I uh, just thought I'd better put that out there because um, I'm in like several paranormal groups and stuff and I run some of my own myself. And anything with like, um, yeah, what can I say? People say I well, need a deaf experience or something like this, or if somebody says that their partner's committed suicide, uh, somebody's committed suicide or something. There, there is always these religious people come out and can, you know, preach them damnation to them and stuff like that. And I'm sorry, I I got no time for people like that. I really haven't. And if you are offended by this and you're a subscriber, then please, you know, the door is. I'm just I am what I am, and. Uh, you know, everyone eats to their own. I'm not. I'm not telling anyone how to live their life or believe what they want. Everyone believe or believes or does what they want. But for me, this is just how I am. There's a lot of combos and stuff on this game, and usually most of them I just forget what they are. It shows you on the like see. It probably would have been good on the PC because with a keyboard you've got to just spread stuff out and it'd be easier to do, maybe. But there we go. And it was never released on the PC. There was, I think, um, a rumor or talk of there's going to be a sequel to this, but it never actually came about, which is a shame. But um, yeah, so I think the graphics are amazing. The the way they've like showed their interpretation of how to be and stuff. It's uh, it's pretty awesome. I think it's it's very unique, and um, I look forward to playing it some more.
Have pity on me, whatever you are. A lady called. I prayed for her to command me. Beatrice. I fear my friend has gone astray, she said. Help him, Virgil, so that he may come to me. I am Beatrice, and when I am finally before my lord, I will praise you to him. Poet, I beg you, give me strength. I will deliver her from this fate, whatever the cost.
Yeah, this is the creature I was on about earlier that um, I had trouble, trouble controlling the stuff. I didn't know what I was doing. I was hitting any one button to try and get by. Uh, it was a little bit awkward, but there we go. I'm not sure how many times throughout the game I'll have to ride creatures like this. I don't know. Um, because obviously I have gone further than where this video ends when I played it before, but not a lot further. I didn't. Um, I just didn't. You know, I didn't. Went to other games and stuff back then. Because when I had, when I played this before, I had my Xbox in the living room, and it was awkward then because people, other people, want to watch TV when you want to play and stuff. Like now, obviously, I've got my own room, so it's sort of different now. But um, that's what it was back then. And uh, yeah, so there we go. and see the tormented spirits who all bewail the second death.
So, story about Dante that I remember is he's basically he's going through different levels of hell to try and save the soul of his um, partner. And, um, you know, as you've seen and you will see, there's people you can absolve and, or um, punish and stuff like that. Uh, to be honest, when when I was in that situation to to do either to them, I'm usually in the fight zone. I just click whatever button comes into my head. You know, it just doesn't. There's nothing like you know, no strategy behind it. It's just like you've got like ten enemies around you, and you grab one. You think, oh, what am I going to? I just press anything, and then just that's it. You know, that's just the way I do it on here. Um, and so yeah, it's a great game. If you've got an Xbox One or PS3, highly recommend it, or Xbox 360 even, highly recommend it. Um, I'm not sure if this is on EA Game on the, the EA Game Pass thing. I don't know if that's on there. I have no idea. But if it is, again, check it out. If it is, it's worth having a look. Uh, it plays superb on the Xbox One. No issues at all. Um, I've got a dodgy control in mind for it, so if there's anything you think, oh, that's a bit odd, that's probably because my control is a bit dodgy, I've got to get a new one. So there we go. those who did not fear the Lord. But which people are these, so overcome by pain? Such are the sorry souls who lived with neither infamy nor praise. Heaven drives them out, and deep hell does not receive them so that the wicked may not glory over them. What makes their bitter lament? Mercy and justice disdain them. Let us not speak of them. Move on!
did a collab collab video yesterday with VR Vampire VR1, which is on my channel. Uh, if you wish to watch that, um, I believe that uh, Vampy is making a video from her perspective. I think it's released, going to be released on Wednesday. Um, again, if you wish to see that. And um, so yeah. I would say we're not too far off the end of this video, we've got a few minutes to go, but I'm probably going to bid you all bye for now here. Um, so please let me know what you think, if you wish to see more of this, please let me know. I'm still going to be continuing all my other games and stuff like I've been doing. Um, it's just that I had a strong desire to to do this game the other day and I just had to record it, you know, I just I thought to myself. This fits in with the channel like perfectly, so I get it is. So I know anyway, until next time, but you'll bye for now, stay safe. By all that is holy, I vow to forsake all pleasures of the flesh until I return from this noble crusade. I gave myself to you because I know you will be faithful to our love. <laughs> you should have been true to this sweet young thing. Instead, it's me who gets the prize. Let her go. She's innocent. Not for long. I belong to him now. You've only yourself to blame, holy warrior. You don't deserve such a faithful, pious young lady. <laughs>